Welcome to Excel in a minute. As the successor to the match function, the X match function can also work well with the index function, right? The index and X match are used to create a flexible lookup formula, but with more advanced features. In this lesson, you will learn how to use the two functions together in a single formula to perform a two dimensional lookup. Note that the X match function searches a value from an array then returns an integer that corresponds to the position of the match found in the array. Meanwhile, the index function returns a value at a given position in a range or array of data. Since the index function can return a value based on the input row or column number, or both, it allows a two-dimensional lookup with the help of the x match function. Here, we have a list of the top 10 largest countries in the world based on their land area. In this example, we want to get the estimated population of a certain country for a specified year. For this example, we will get the population of United States for the year 20 to 20. Cell H6 is the input cell for the country name, and cell H9 is for the population record year. Now, let's establish our formula in cell H12. The return array we want is the whole population array from cell D5 to cell E14. Then for the row index number argument, we want to use the row position of the United States. Therefore, we will use the X match formula in cell H7. And for the column index number argument, we want to use the column number of the year 20 to 20 in the return array argument. Therefore, we will use the X match formula in cell H10. Now the formula is completed. Press enter to get the result. Here, you will see that the 20 to 20 population of the United States is around 331 million. Comparing it to the data, the given result is correct. And that's it. You are now ready to use the index and X match combination to perform a more advanced and flexible lookup formula. Expand your Excel skills and learn more about these functions with us. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.